Happy Saturday across the Midlands. Hope you got out there and enjoyed the warmer temperatures today as we did make it into the low 70s. Even had a little dull sunshine peek through the clouds earlier this afternoon. But now as we push into the evening, the clouds are going to be sticking with us along with the milder temperatures. A stray shower can't be ruled out tonight. Maybe just a sprinkle or two. But overall, I think we continue to stay dry tonight. But then heading into tomorrow and especially by Monday, that's when we're expecting the heavier rains and even a few thunderstorms to be pushing into the area. So a first alert weather day has been issued beginning late tomorrow night, mainly after 9, 10 o'clock, and then continuing throughout the day on Monday for that possibility of waves of heavy showers moving in along with that possibility for one or two storms that could be possibly on the strong severe side. So as far as the severe risk for Monday, the Storm Prediction Center has the better chance or the yellow, which is a slight risk, mainly across South Georgia, but it does kind of creep over into the southern portion of South Carolina. But as we zoom this in, you can see the Midlands really just in that marginal risk or a level one. So about a 5% chance that we could see one or two strong to severe storms with this system throughout the day on Monday. We're mainly looking at the possibility for gusty winds up to 60 miles per hour. But like we saw a couple weeks ago, when we get these systems, a brief spin up tornado cannot be ruled out. But I think if we do get anything to develop, it'll be like the ones we had from a couple weeks ago where they're just on the ground for a mile or less and just does some very minor damage, not expecting widespread damage with any of those that do try to develop. So we'll have to keep our guard up, but really just looking at the damaging wind threat is the main concern, but even that looks to be on the low level side. So we're not too overly concerned about severe storms. Heavier rain, though, that's going to be the bigger thing that we will be tracking. Latest satellite and radar again shows the cloud cover. You can see with this latest frame, maybe a sprinkle or two trying to develop up towards the Greenwood area that could clip portions of Newberry and then into Chester County this evening. But overall, I'm expecting most of us to stay dry. The better rains continue to be up through the Tennessee Valley and then back through Arkansas, down into Louisiana and back into Texas. That's where our main area of low pressure is and what we'll be waiting on to finally kick that moisture our way and give us the better chance for some rain moving into the day tomorrow. So for tonight, mild, cloudy with that stray shower possible, 57 for the overnight low. And then looking at your planner for tomorrow, we start off dry, but by late morning and into the afternoon, maybe a hit or miss stray shower or two of temperatures, again, pushing the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Really just think it's another cloudy, mild day, but a stray shower or two, or maybe a hit or miss shower can't be ruled out. So let's kind of time this out and show you what our future cast is showing. And I think this is doing a fairly good job. So dry mainly through tonight. We still stay a little breezy. You can see even into tomorrow morning, gusts 15 to 20. So nothing terrible, but enough that if you notice it a little bit. Now by late morning, the model wants to bring in maybe, you know, there's that stray shower or two around 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. But overall, most of us are still dry. And then even into the afternoon, most of us continue to just be dealing with the cloudy, somewhat breezy and mild conditions, maybe a stray shower or two. But overall, we continue to be pretty much dry through a good bit of our Sunday. Maybe by dinner time, as the big game is getting started, a few light showers beginning to try and push into the Midlands. But really, the better chance for rain, and it's been fairly consistent on this, doesn't really get here until tomorrow evening, closer to about 8, 9, 10 o'clock is when we could see that better chance for some steadier rain pushing in across much of the Midlands. This again will be fairly light, but still could start to pick up a little bit and maybe even have some moderate showers. Now, as we head towards midnight, it's also been consistent on this. Now, this is when we could get our first round of some heavier rains pushing in and maybe even a few thunderstorms trying to push into the region. So that's something we'll wanna watch. So again, you can see it really doesn't get here until late tomorrow night and through the overnight hours into Monday morning. Still dealing with widespread scattered light to moderate showers to get the day started. And then some heavier rains look to move in during the late morning on Monday. You can see this at around 10 o'clock, looking at a good chance with the heavier colors showing up on the map. That continues into the afternoon. Maybe another round of some showers, even a few thunderstorms, some gusts now 25 to 30 miles per hour. That even continues through dinner time on Monday. So Monday looks to be a very wet day. Definitely will need the umbrella or the rain jacket heading back to school and work. So the morning commute and even the evening commute could be dealing with those wet roadways along with some ponding. And so that's what could cause some issues and why we do have a first alert weather day issued for Monday, just because of all those things that could impact things. Good news is by late Monday night, it looks like the rain is pushing out and clearer skies do look to build in for our Tuesday. Will be a little breezy and 
closer to average with temperatures getting back down into the low 60s with plenty of sunshine. Here's a look at the latest rainfall totals and again it continues to be a good soaker getting closer to that one and a half to two inches for most of the Midlands with some spots even a little bit more than that. So minor flooding could be a possibility especially in the typical spots that like to collect the water. Good news is it has been fairly dry of late. We've only picked up 13 hundredths to get the month started so far and we're already on day 10. So the ground will be able to absorb a good bit of this but we'll still be watching for the possibility for some minor flooding, especially on the roadways that like to collect the water that could cause some issues throughout the day on Monday. So your 10 day forecast looks like this. Cloudy, 70% chance for those showers, but mainly as we get late in the day on Sunday, 70 degrees for that high. Monday's the first alert weather day with that 90% chance for rain and storms. Temperature still warm, 67. So that gives us the energy to get some of those storms to be possibly strong and severe. We clear out with sunshine returning Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with temperatures closer to average in the low 60s Tuesday and Wednesday with overnight lows down into the 30s. We do start to warm up later on next week back into the mid 60s Thursday and Friday with a few extra clouds around and then temperatures do cool off with another round of rain pushing back into the Midlands by the following weekend as you see temperatures dipping down into the 50s. But just kind of keep in mind tomorrow as you're out and about maybe heading to your Super Bowl watch parties. I think it'll be dry to get to the parties but then as you head home after the big game that's when the rain showers could start to arrive and will continue into Monday with that first alert weather day issued on Monday. So just stay with WISTV.com for all the latest information. I got my latest article up there with all the thinking of what we got going on. That will be updated through tonight and out the day tomorrow to get all the latest information of what you can expect as far as the rain event and the possibility for storms throughout tomorrow night and into the day on Monday at WISTV.com.